Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Since the rejection area, or supply zone, seen at 68.60.80, the Australian dollar has remained to the bearish case as the bears continue to stalk the downside and look towards now from taking out 68.15 to 67.55. It is assessed that further weakness should play into the market and I do feel that now we've broken the 60 day moving average, we are looking for further bearishness. Any advances should find resistance still as a supply zone, as I mentioned, at 68.60.80. Looking at the uh, euro, the market stays a minor recovery and now awaits for the FRMC rate decision, which is at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, Sydney time. It is expected that the Fed will keep rates on hold, but it's more to what the statement says and therefore should see the central bank outlining the pathway for 2020 that the statement should reveal. It is still viewed that 111.15.25 should hold, and I am waiting for the level of 110.30 to break to expose the region of 109.50.70. The dollar yen still remains hesitant towards the top side as it now again places a doji, and with the cap holding at 108.90.95, it's still viewed that the market will pressure the downside once we get a break of 108.20 to look towards 107.50. The pound briefly looked above the 131.90 level overnight and posted a 132.14 high. We've got a doji in place and now some hesitancy in terms of taking the challenge higher and still be aware of a bull trap above the level of 131.90. From the rejection could still see a further play into the downside but all eyes turn to the UK election tomorrow and see what the outcome is from there. The gold outlook still holds to a bullish case and still at this stage holds above the level 1,450 and I do feel there is further upside potential to 66, 72 and 80, 82 as a target. The break of 50 would negate my bullish view. Rounding up with oil, but the market is still at this stage looking towards 59 to 61 as a target. With any pullback, still expect to see support at $58 a barrel. So that wraps up for today. But as I mentioned, do be aware at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning is the FRMC rate decision. And along with that, we do have also with the ECB rate decision and also the UK election. So a very big round of economic data to come through. And no doubt we'll be seeing many whipsaw price action. So still keep your risk management very much to your stops, that is and keep a, a very close eye on the markets in the next 24 hours.